gate 2015 civil engineering set 1 question 50 consider a primary sedimentation tank in a water treatment plant with surface overflow rate of 40 meter per day the diameter of the spherical particle which will have 90 percent theoretical removal efficiency in this tank is the answer needs to be found in micrometer assume that settling velocity of the particles in water is described by stokes law data relating to the stokes law has been provided the relevant NPTEL reference is listed. So coming to the useful data, if we assume a sedimentation tank of cuboidal shape, the tank's length is L, the width of the tank is B and the height of the tank is N. Assuming a particle enters along with the water flow here, so in the worst case it should get deposited here on the farthest end. So the vertical speed will be equal to V0 that is called the surface overflow rate. The time taken by the particle to get processed in the tank will be equal to V by Q that is V volume will be processed at the rate of Q and this should be equal to its depositing time. So it will use V0 speed to get deposited over a height H. So using this we would get the value of V0 as Q by LB or Q by area of the tank. Another concept that needs to be known is the settling velocity of the particle that is given by Stokes law. So this is equal to gd square by 18 gamma into g minus 1. Here g is the specific gravity, gamma is the kinematic viscosity, d is the diameter of the particle. Using this we will obtain the settling velocity in meter per second. So the efficiency of removal is given by the ratio of vs to v0 into 100. So if a particle has a settling speed greater than or equal to v0, its efficiency of removal will be 100% and if it is less it will be obtained using this equation here. So in this case we have been given the surface overflow rate V0 as 40 meter per day. The efficiency of removal is mentioned as 90%. G is given as 2.65 in the question. Gamma is mentioned as 1.1 into 10 to the power minus 6 and the value of a small g is mentioned as 9.81 meter per second square. So using this we can find the settling velocity that would be equal to gd square by 18 gamma into g minus 1. It is also given that the efficiency is 90% so vs by v0 will be equal to 0.9. So using this we would get vs as 0.9 into v0. So it would become 0.9 into 40 which will be equal to 36 meters per day. So we will convert this to meter per second. So this would become 36 by 86,400 meter per second equals G that will be 9.81. Diameter we need to find 18 into gamma. So gamma is in SI units 1.1 into 10 to the power minus 6 into G minus 1. So 2.65 minus 1. Using this we would get the value of D square as 36 into 18 into 1.1 into 10 to the power minus 6 divided by 9.81 into 1.65 into 86,400. This would give the value of D square as 5.0968 into 10 to the power minus 10. On taking the square root we would get D as 2.2576 into 10 to the power minus 5 or it can be written as 22.576 into 10 to the power minus 6 meters. This can be written as 22.58 micrometers. We can remove the 10 to the power minus 6 by converting it to micrometer. Diameter of the spherical particle which would provide us with 90% theoretical removal efficiency is 22.58 micrometers. The relevant NPTEL reference has been mentioned.